We wish all you folks up in Selby a very happy centennial evening as we're celebrating with you right here from the Capitol building. And uh, we wish you all the best in the next 100 years. Thank you so much for being with us, Reuben. And uh, Rich, I guess maybe I'm going to toss it back to you for a second. Is that right? You're looking curious at me. Oh, me? Well, I'm just yeah. hanging out here. I'm just having oh. fun waiting for the party to start. You know, this is the party. Uh, the ball's coming up in just a little bit. Uh, I think uh, some of the folks are uh, probably starting to arrive, like when it says we, uh, we're the first ones at the ball tonight. We're waiting for everybody else, uh, and we're waiting with you, and uh, we appreciate the good company. Um, we have more interviews coming up, more segments about South Dakota that we can share with you uh, that demonstrate the history, the heritage, and the celebration that we've been enjoying this summer. Right now, though, we're going to pause for just a brief moment, let you know who's helping make this event possible and where you're watching it. And now, Centennial Minutes. South Dakota Public Broadcasting brings you historical events shaping our future to celebrate the century. Farmers, ranchers, and others in agribusiness have faced financial ruin once or twice each generation for more than a century. In order to bargain for a better quality of life, they joined agricultural organizations. South Dakotans were at the forefront of the rural movement. The first local grange was founded near Vermilion by Henry Ferry in 1872. Many substantial groups have been formed since then, including the People's Party, Nonpartisan League, Farmers Union, National Farmers Organization, League of Rural Voters, and the American Agriculture Movement. These rural organizations have been influential in economic, cultural, and political affairs throughout the history of South Dakota. Partial funding for Centennial Minutes comes from Friends of South Dakota Public Broadcasting. Celebrate the century. You are watching one of the eight stations of the South Dakota Public Television Network. Broadcast of the Centennial Finale is made possible in part with major support from Citibank South Dakota. Citibank is proud to share in South Dakota history and looks forward to another 100 years of people, pride, and service in South Dakota. Thank you, South Dakota, for contributing to our success. Additional support is provided by South Dakota Cement, a proud sponsor of the Centennial, representing the people and the spirit of South Dakota throughout the Midwest. And by the Friends of South Dakota Public Broadcasting, on behalf of over 17,000 families who support quality public TV and radio for South Dakota. Hi. I'm excited because now I can hear the orchestra tuning up and we know the Centennial Ball and the Capitol Ball are actually going to begin in an hour. So stay with us. It's going to be so exciting around here.